Pupils are returning to school next week in England, but the education recovery czar says a bold and ambitious plan is needed to help pupils make up for learning losses. The Education Recovery Commissioner, speaking to MPs on Tuesday, said plans to help pupils make up for the disruption caused by lockdowns need to be part of a comprehensive reform. I think we have to be bold and ambitious. Um, my view is that the recovery needs to be long-term, sustained and far-reaching. Um, Catch-up isn't really the language I'm using. I think it's much more about recovery over time. Um, Catch-up is part of it. The government said last month it will provide £300 million for tutoring programmes. This is on top of £1 billion of catch-up funding announced last year. Downing Street expects the disruption will take more than one year to make up. The government is considering longer school days and summer schools. Professor Becky Francis told MPs there were only marginal gains in both suggestions. It's been shown actually that, um, you know, that there's a tapering of benefit the longer that the school day progresses. Um, it's no coincidence, I think, that we've come to a place with the average school day. There's issues about pupil attention and so forth and, and what can be required of pupils. Collins said schools themselves need to be ones deciding how summer schools might be used alongside existing holiday, activity and food programmes. The, the notion of a school-led or locally-led recovery is very important to me in the work that I'm doing. So how you align what you're doing in your school or your local community with your HAF programme seems to me we need to trust people on the ground to put these things together rather than decide that from the top. Pupils can begin returning to school on Monday in England.